Hey guys, and welcome back to Wolf Quest. So it is time for us to come and start marking our territory everywhere, which is pretty insane. So we have to come and attempt to come and mark up this territory. We're going to come and pee on everything. So welcome back guys. If you haven't gone and watched the last episode, I highly recommend it because Midnight and Mystic actually chose their very first line to have their very first pups in and we are currently here in the um is it peak heights den we're quite far away from the summer hunting grounds it's going to be the longest journey out of all dens but i don't know i just had a kind of like a good feeling about this den i don't even know why i had a good feeling about it but we're gonna come and mark all of this territory there we go pee on everything and wait for this all to be out this could take us quite some time but we have to make sure that we can come and let everybody else know that uh, this is our territory and we don't want anybody here coming and walking on it at all because our beautiful new pups are going to be here and I think that Demis is going to be a fiercely protective mother and want to keep her pups very very safe so we have to make sure to pee on everything like so which could take a very long time we're getting there guys we're gonna go peeing crazy look she's definitely gonna have to drink plenty of water <laughs> to try and get all this tinkle out of her there we go. So, God, how much pee have you got in you? It would be kind of be cool if like midnight did it with us. That'd be nice. But there's half of our territory almost done. So we're almost there. We're going to come continue. We're going to come this way. There we go. Gonna come down here. Oh, this is quite a big territory, isn't it? But uh, yeah, this is my very first experience of having wolf pups in Wolf Quest. And I'm really excited, but as I mentioned in the previous episode, I'm also quite nervous because I'm really afraid that one of them is going to die. And I don't know, I get really attached in video games. I know it's a game, but still, oh, pup guys. And if any of them die, I'm going to be really devastated. But um, I have a couple of names chosen. I decided to come and pick out like four boys' names and four girls' names because I wasn't sure what we were going to have if we'd have like all boys or all girls or, or a mixture. So I have my names written down and ready to go. So I'm really excited to see what we get of each. But uh, I think Midnight and Mystic will be happy as long as everybody is healthy. They will love it. So we're almost there. We're 80% completed. We're getting there, guys. We have to come and pee on everything. And we definitely want it to be up nice and full. We also need to do a bit of handling with the looks of things as well. So we're going to come pee on everything. So achievement unlocked. It's all mine. <laughs> cool stuff. Congratulations, you've successfully established your territory. Because you marked and patrolled the perimeter, stranger wolves are less likely to come into your territory and interfere with your hunting and peppering. You may want to save your game. Oh my god, we've got pups! With the territory now established, you and your mate are ready to start your family. After nine weeks of gestation, four healthy pups are born in the den. Oh, how adorable is that, guys? Blind and deaf, they weigh just one pound each. The pups must remain in the den for several weeks, eating and sleeping and growing, gaining about a pound a week. At two weeks, their eyes open. At three weeks, they first emerge from the den into the sunlight. Your pup's coat colours are inherited from their parents and ancestors. If you have enough experience points, you can name them. You can change their names later in the pack starts panel. Okay. Alright then. So we have two girls and two boys. And I'm able to actually name them. How exciting. Awesome. Okay guys, so I've named the pups. We had two girls and two boys. So I've called the first little girl Star. The second little girl is called Maisie. And then the first boy is called Bronson and the second little boy is called Phoenix. I am so excited! Train your pups. Now eight weeks of age, your pups are too big for the den. As they spend their time, days playing their duels, you must keep them from wandering up too far. By picking them up and bringing them stray pups back to the den, you will increase the affinity of your closeness of your family pack and your pups will know to stay closer to home. Pups mostly eat food regurgitated by you and your maid. Soon they will be weaned, depending on, on you to bring them food. You must also protect them from predators such as grizzly bears, who may see who may see a wolf pup as an easy meal. Oh, that's so depressing. Okay, here goes, guys. I'm scared. We're gonna do it pretty easy. And I don't want anyone to die. Hi, guys! Oh my God! Hey! 
here. Oh, cute. I'm gonna come pick you up, pop you back in the den. Oh, this could take a while. No, no, Bronson, come back. Come back. You can't leave. No, no, no. Oh, are you playing with the pup? She was so adorable. You've got to come and stay in the den, guys, because, you know, we don't want you getting eaten by predators. We're missing a pup. We're missing a pup. Midnight. Where's my other pup? One. <gasps> Maisie. No, 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 no. Oh, my goodness. This is hard. This is really hard. Wow. Stay. Stay, dang it. Oh, my goodness. Put down. Stay here. Star. No, no. No, no. Bronson, Maisie, Phoenix. Phoenix. <laughs> oh. Come. Put you guys back. You mustn't wander, guys, because there's many predators. They're going to try and eat you. Please stay. Stay. Maisie. We're going to put everybody back into this den. Come on, guys. Come and stay here, please, guys. I need to come and continue to pee on all the things. Oh, my God. This is difficult. This is hard work, guys. Oh, wow. Stay. I'm missing a pup. I'm missing... There you are. Bronson. Mr. Mischievous. Get your butt back in this den, mister. Come on now. Pay attention. Is that a predator? Oh my god, what's that sound? I'm so... Hungry mouse. Your pups are getting hungry. Go find food and extra... Eat extra so you can return to feed them. Mark your territory along the way. So stranger wolves don't intrude. Your pups will be safe from predators while you're away on the hunt. Or any time you are more than 50 metres away from the den. Okay. Put you down here. Ooh. I see a coyote in the distance. Phoenix. <laughs> Get back here. Okay, give it a howl. Howl, I say. There we go. Congratulations, you've talked your pups to stay nearby to keep safe. You're ready to continue the quest for survival. Okay, keep watch. Defend your pups. Your pups are enticing and defenseless targets for predators of all kinds. Though your pups are now likely to stay closer to home, you and your mate must be vigilant to protect them. Defend your den and pups while you continue to mark your territory and train and feed your pups. Your pups will be safe in the den for predators when you venture more than 50 metres away. Okay. Okay, they're hungry. They're hungry. Okay, save the game. Star, where are you going? No, no. <gasps> Coyote, guys! Coyote! Oh! I'm nervous! Get out of here! Get! Oh my god! Where did it go? Where is it? God, guys, you're scaring the life out of me. Get into this den. And they're also getting hungry. Let's give it a howl. That scared me so much. Okay, they're hungry. Food time. Okay. I'm gonna head over here and get food for them. Hurry, hurry before they starve. Hopefully our mate's doing the same. Okay, the pups are safe in the den, but they're not going to stop them from starving to death, or is it? Oh my god, food is so far away, guys. Come on. I haven't got time to hunt right now. Eat. Come on, hurry. Eat, eat, eat. Eat, eat. Keep eating and then leg it back to feed the pups. I'm so afraid right now. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, here we go. I'm coming, guys. I'm coming. I'm getting hungry. I'm coming. Oh, wow. I'm kind of afraid. Please be okay. Please be okay. It's so far away. Wow. Ooh, look at those poor prints change colour, guys. Come on, come on. Feed them and they got to pee on all the things. <gasps> A grizzly bear! Get out of it! Is he gonna go? He says we chased him away. <gasps> Ooh, that scared me. Let's come and feed you guys. I'm so nervous. There we go, guys. There we go, Phoenix. Come pick you up. Put you down. Give it a howl. Come here, buddy. Come on. Back into the den. What is that? It's a cougar, guys. Get out of here. And bite his butt. Make sure he goes. Scary, man. Right, let's get some more food while we're out. Come on, come on, food, please. Ooh, bingo. Oh, I'm so glad I took this out down here. Thank goodness for that, guys. Okay, let's come and feed her. And she's also injured as well, bless her. Midnight's a little bit stuck on the log level. It's okay, dude. <laughs> oh, he's kind of glitching out. He's like, hmm. This is a uh, suspicious. Why can't I move? <laughs> oh wow. Okay, let's go back to the pups. All right, little ones. We're gonna have to come and pee on all the things as well. Definitely. Okay, we're coming. We're coming. Okay, we're not close enough just yet. Um, come and pee on everything, look. Get this back up to a hundred. And then we'll get the um, affinity, pack affinity back up to a hundred as well. And then see if the pups want to be fed again. Almost there. Okay. I don't. I can't imagine what this game is like on like hard mode, guys. Seriously, it must be really difficult to try and keep these pups alive. It must be like chaotic constantly. Oh wow! It makes you have a real understanding of what wild animals have to go through. Just in order to survive, it's crazy. There we go, a hundred, perfect. Okay, wait. let's get back to the pups. Make sure they stay in the den as well. <gasps> a cougar! Put the pup down, put the pup down. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Don't panic, don't panic, don't panic, don't panic, don't panic, don't panic, don't panic. <gasps> Quick, get it, get it! <sighs> She's re 
bloody fast. Are we supposed to be getting notifications saying that if she's been like, you know, successfully, you know, thwarted or something? My god, she's coming right back to him, look! Get out of here! I'm gonna keep an eye on her. Get out of here. How do I stop her, guys? Is she just gonna leave or what? I'm confused. Get out of it. I think we're okay. Oh, that was scary. And I'm like lost, guys. Oh my goodness. Here we go, look. Whew, wow. Let's come and feed the pups. And then get some more food. We also need to get pack affinity to go up. May as well come and pee on the way home. We go. There we go. Get this up. Get the park affinity back up as well. Get these pups fed. Almost. Ooh, it's so close. There we go. Ooh, oh, this is crazy, guys. I'm just, I'm really nervous. <laughs> I've got to be honest. Let's come, give it a howl. feed these guys. Oh, he is feeding the pups. That's good. There we go. Give it a good couple of howls, look. Does sound in danger because I don't know the signs of danger yet. Come here, buddy. Maisie, Maisie, get back here. There you go. Coyote, coyote. Come here. Get away from my pups. I'll teach you. Right. Whew, okay. I'm gonna come and find some food. If there's anything closer, that's not good. Gonna kind of fill up on food while the pups are fed and feeling okay. And then I'll come and pee on all the things on the way home. This is crazy. This is so full on. It's nuts. Wow. But I'm actually gonna come and end today's episode here, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope you all have an amazing day. And uh, I will come and catch you guys next time. Bye.